Good morning, Cheney UMC and friends. Welcome to this week's Lectio Divina reading. This week, we're in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 3 to 11. Let's prepare our hearts to hear God's word. Today's welcoming words and prayer come to us from the San Juan Islands. We walked slowly through the silvered shade below the trees that God had made, and each in contemplated thought sensed all the glories he had wrought. This is God's world with all his care. We knew it as we traveled there on our way to Chapel Rock. And there are the islands off the shore, like stepping stones to evermore. And the great spread of the sky above reflected God and the great, his great love. And there above a placid sea, we knew the peace of God was free. As we start today's Lectio Divina reading, I invite you to quiet yourself as you prepare for this time of meditation and conversation with God. Consider lighting a candle and taking a few moments to get comfortable. Stretch your legs out, lower your elbows and shoulder. Let's slow our breathing by closing our eyes and inhaling slowly through our nose for a two count and out your mouth for a three count. This slow reading of the scripture will open you to God's presence in your life. As the scripture is read, allow a word or phrase or image or feeling to speak to you. It is one that God has chosen for you. Allow that phrase or word or feeling or image to rest in the deepest areas of your heart. Slowly repeat the word or phrase to yourself a couple of times after you've heard it. This is a time of prayer and conversation between you and God. Today's scripture is from Matthew, chapter five, verses three through 11. It will be read three times. After each reading, use the silence that follows to meditate on that phrase or word, or perhaps it was an image or feeling, and consider it as a spiritual gift from God that he wants you to use. Asking God how to use this spiritual gift is part of today's prayer. As we begin, ask God to bring his, the gift of scripture to life in you and through you, through the power of the Holy Spirit. If nothing speaks to you, or you're uncertain of what you're doing, pray boldly and without hesitation to God with unbelievable faith. God will answer you. Trust that God understands you. There will be a period of silence following each reading to listen with the ears of your heart. If your mind wanders, slowly bring it back to your listening to the scripture as we receive this gift of scripture from God today. Let us hear God's word. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye which men shall revile you and persecute you 
and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. As you listen to God's word for a second time, allow the word or phrase or feeling or image that caught your attention continue to stir your thoughts or feelings to a deeper level of meditation. In your mind's eye, consider what you see when you see that word or phrase surrounded by a bright white light. Go slowly, allow God time to say, all he wants to say to you today. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. with God about whatever you're feeling. Listen for his invitations for you. 
How are you being called to respond to God's word? And what do you need from God this day? Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do not hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rest now in the presence of God who knows you better than you know yourself. Your thoughts and feelings right now during this time of silence and conversation with God has been his gift to you today. For a few moments, simply be. Allow the silence and the message from God to rest in you. The day can wait a few more moments as you embrace the deepening of this relationship with God through the blessing of his Holy Scripture. Let us close in prayer. Portuguese Prayer of the Woods. I am the heat of your hearth on the cold winter nights, the friendly shade screening you from the summer sun and my fruits are refreshing draughts quenching your thirst as you journey on. I am the beam that holds your house, the board of your table, the bed on which you lie, and the timber that builds your boat. I am the handle of your hoe, the door of your homestead, the wood of your cradle, and the shell of your coffin. I am the bread of kindness, and the flower of beauty. Ye who pass by, listen to my prayer. Harm me not.